Katrina. This is So and Tear, and welcome to the weekend review for the week of February 26, 2024. I've been sick this week, but we have done been doing things. It has rained and even hailed. So I will leave you with these videos. One thing about storms is it has beautiful light in between the rainstorms. I think she had babies. There's blood on the tile. Did you have babies? Oh, honey, you did such a good job. You did such a good job, Mommy. Yes, you did. Let me see them. Let me see them. Hi, Mommy. You did so good. You did so good, baby girl. Okay, let me see them. Can I see them? Oh, well, we have a dead one. And she made a whole big nest. Hi, babe. Come with me. All right, let's see who's back there. Mama, you pulled a lot of fur. You pulled a lot of fur. All right. Oh. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Hello. You want to come first? All right. We have one. Oh my gosh, you're so new. Okay, we have one. Let me do this quickly. Two. I know, Mama. Three. <clears throat> Four. Five. Oh my gosh, mommy. Six. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Is that it? You have eight babies. You have eight babies. All right. Put them back. Make sure you get all of them back in. So Rigatoni did lose a baby. It was in the nest box. It was not stiff yet but it's still warm. Um, I have it in my hand right now. I'm not going to show you guys. I did show her it. She did lick the bottom of it, trying to get it to come to, and it did not. And I told her she better go feed her babies, and she went right in. So I hope her milk came in. And she is nursing them right now, it looks like. So hopefully this is their regular feeding time because their bellies were not very poochy. I am going to check how poochy their bellies are after she feeds them, just to make sure that her milk did come in. Um, otherwise, we have to go and get some goat milk formula. I'm coming out. Are they all done? Yeah? Can I check their bellies, please? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, those are plump little bellies. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. All right. Did everybody eat is the question. Did everybody eat? We have one plump belly. That's the one I'm looking for with bellies. Two plump belly. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh my goodness. Four. Uh, yeah, you got some. You're not as plump as the rest. Five. You got a plump belly. All of them have plump bellies. Tony's babies have half of them here and half of them back there. So I'm actually gonna move this half. Hi babies. To the back half. Hi sweeties. Ooh, we only have two back here. Hi. 
One, two. All right. Three, four, five, six. Look how chubby they are. Seven. Yes, Mama, I'm moving them. You had a split deck here. Here we go. There we go. All seven together. I'm going to put some of this fluff over there. Yeah, and then you can investigate them. And they will be fine. Okay, Mama? Okay. Good girl. Did you splash milk on there? What is that, honey? This is the desert gold peach tree before all the blossoms went away with stars. When I left him in the porch, he was finding a rat. I came in here searching for you. I know, were you sleeping? Were you sleeping? Did you catch anything? He did not answer me when I asked where he was. I've been looking for him for a while. All right, are you staying there? You may. Hopefully you found what you were looking for. Silly kitty. That's the shreds that I do for the um, worm bins, <laughs> which there'll be a video on at some point soon. I already recorded it. This is the first little tulip of the year. Well, hello there. Hello. <laughs> we have the first apricot flowers. First apricot flowers. This plum is starting to bloom too. This is the plum that doesn't get a whole lot of fruit. And the apple tree's been in bloom for a while. <laughs> Still, it even has, it even has leaves. Santa Rosa Plum also starting. There'll be a video tomorrow about fish and mosquitoes. This kitty cat was looking for some fish. I just checked on her babies. One week old. And she gets to go say hi. Oh, you're not gonna? Okay. Well, they were starting to come out. I suspect they're ready to be nursed. Go and say hi. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Okay, I just have to say Parmesan is in temporary housing here and does not even care that there's a cat here. You used to see him outside, huh? Yeah. Okay, kitty. You're gonna fall. Yeah, you are. Be careful, honey. Okay, I actually haven't seen him right up against the hutch yet, so let's see. Are you guys friends? I know they see each other all the time when he was outside. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I still have all this compost in here. Yeah? Your friend? This is good to see this interaction. I was a little bit worried. Because he did stay the night in here, and I did add kind of a lock on the, on the hutch. But you guys are fine, huh? You guys are completely fine. <laughs> Oh boy. Again, this is temporary housing for Parmesan. He is going to a loving home. Hi guys. Well, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about you, huh? Yeah. All right. You gonna stay in here while it's rainy? It is windy. So I'm hoping that flapping does not affect the quail, but it might, to be honest, it's been super windy. Of course, as soon as I turn on the camera, it's not windy. All right, I don't know what Rigatoni's doing. But she's decided she's going to the bathroom in the nest box, which is not appropriate. 
not appropriate, little girl. Um, you have to keep an eye on this and keep re redoing the hay. Honey, that's not okay. That's not a bathroom. Where where your babies live, sweetie. So I did end up actually taking them out of this nest box, doing a whole new nest box and doing hay, cleaning up the babies and all of that. It seems to be working so far at least. So there's going to be a video all about that at some point. Hi, you climbing on me? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. There's a bunch of babies. I actually found out after all of this that three counties that border the same county I'm in, in California, had tornado warnings. So we don't get those. We get earthquakes, guys. Not making any sounds or running around, so... Yes, they're okay. Look how fast this cloud is going. I don't even know if it looks fast, but it is fast. So much wind. We're in a wind advisory till Saturday. It was all night last night, through today, through the tomorrow part way tomorrow all right it was a really 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 windy night we had rain and wind i haven't been outside yet and it's well past when i usually check the weather yes i'm sick um woke up several times last night because of the wind and it sounded like the roof of the screen and porch was being pulled off like it was really really loud and um the main quail aviary the roof for that is the tarp and that was flapping all around so we'll probably not have eggs for a while again um anyway so let's see what it actually looks like and yeah you'll see it when i see it hopefully everybody is okay yes we still have the compost bags in here hi parmesan how was the storm last night hmm? Yeah? How was it? Hi, babe. Come here. You want me to come to you? I know, I moved your stuff. Hi, babe. Looks like he's okay. Okay, I'm gonna continue and check on people. Well, bunnies and chickens and quail. Alright, you need some water. I'll get you that in a minute. <clears throat> All right, little bunnies, you guys are okay? Yeah, you are. Everybody's over by the water. All right. <clears throat> well, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is a spider web, but it's like, you know, a cobweb spider web. And that fell down from the roof. And that over there. That's how windy it was, is that it ripped off this cobweb from the roof. <laughs> okay, well, the umbrella's still standing and the tarp is still in the aviary, so that's good. All right. You guys okay? Hey. Everybody looks okay. Hi guys. How are you guys in here, huh? 
I wonder if we're going to have enough sun today. I can put chips in here. Everybody looks okay. You guys look pretty good, huh? Look at you. You dumped your water. Hi, babe. So I've been giving her this bowl because she's just... She's just a little pissy with her feeder. I did replace it, but she keeps on tugging on it, so I need to... I need to fix... I need to fix that, but I think you're mostly pissy because you're pregnant. Yeah, I think so, babe. And we have Tony and her babies. Hi, babies. Look at them. They are so warm that they unburied themselves. Hi, I know, Mama. Look how big they're getting. Look how big they're getting. I guess I should turn on the light, huh? Here we go. Hi, little one. You are wet. Did Mama pee on you? Okay, we're gonna have to address that in a minute. Mama, you need to stop peeing in your box. Unless it came in through the side, but I will, I will clean them up. Hi, hey, Mama. What? For some reason, Rhea Tony started going to the bathroom in the in the nest box the other day. I don't know why. I'm not sure how to how to fix that, but I'm gonna be cleaning off the babies and putting in new new straw or new hay. I think. Um, yeah, that's my plan. Well, the umbrella that was not open fell over. <laughs> that's the only damage so far. I'm okay with that. Hi, chickies. Hi, bunnies. Everybody looks good here. Mm, chickens were already in bed, but it got pretty bad. You guys probably didn't even wake up, huh? Yeah. You guys probably didn't wake up. Oh, you want scratchies? All right, we'll get scratchies. This is the only one that's that's laying right now. Rexy. Hi, babe. I know, I can't really give good scratchies with one hand. Good girl. Good girl. And you guys look good. I know, smile though. Tell the world. We have tons of flowers on the ground. Oh look, we already had a peach started? I didn't even know that. Look how big this peach was already. <clears throat> All over. There's plenty on the tree still, so that's good. But I think probably the majority are not on the tree anymore. Looks like we do have peach leaf pearl. It sucks. Hi Percy. How did you fare with the storm? Hi okay. babe. How was the storm for you? I know, it was windy, huh? It was windy, huh? I know. You smell Maria Tony's babies. I know. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Honey, come here. Come here, sweetie. Yeah. Okay, now we now we can pet you. You're in the right position now. Well, it looks like everybody's doing good. Um looks like the only thing that happened was the uh umbrella that wasn't open fell over. Um the one that was open, it has a bunch of weight on top of the base, so I was glad that didn't fall over. And um other than that, I guess I gotta check out Rigatoni's babies. And oh, and Silva's Crossing is uh, closed. I got a notice notification on my phone, so we might check that out today and see how the water level is. Oh, I need to check the rain, rain gauge. I don't know exactly how much it rained. I know it rained, obviously, enough for them to close Silva's, but that also includes stuff from the hills. And it was mostly windy. Let's see. So, it's not an inch. Oh, maybe close. 
Oh boy, really close to an inch. There we go. So you read the bottom of the meniscus. That's 0.97. Look at this baby enjoying the sunshine. Hi baby, you like to be squished between things? These guys over here are enjoying cuddle time. Hi. You look comfy. It is hailing. Something just happened. All that's hail. Poor bunnies. <laughs> look at it going off the roof there. It's a really soft tail. It's just starting to turn back into rain. I can even see it bouncing off the pergola. Well, back to rain. <laughs> a minute of hail. A minute and a half. There is a couple more in there before I came over. Are you guys okay with all this hail? I know you guys can't see, but I can see. They're okay. You're okay. Hi, babies. How about you, sweetheart? You okay? I know, babe. I know, babe. You're fine. You're fine, baby. Yeah. Yep. The rain's pouring off the rabbit's area. Hi, mamas. How you doing? That's pretty loud, huh? That's pretty loud. Hi, baby. Yeah, you're okay. And how about you? You're okay too? Yes, you're okay. Alright, I'm just checking on your babies. Okay, I did put that cotton with them. It looks like she covered up and uh, she covered them up even more. Oh, they are nice and toasty in there. They're not gonna have any problem at all. Well, since I'm over here, here's some of the quince flowers. And the fig trees are starting to leaf out, which is very cool. And we do have these, well, that's a volunteer asparagus. <clears throat> but these are some sort of, um, I think they're hyacinths. Hyacinths? Anyway, they come up every year. They're not edible, as far as I know. You guys doing okay? All right. <clears throat> Another thing to know is there's a wonderful bloom is happening on the Trevoya orange. Super, lots of blossoms. Awesome. Well, this is the shade sail that goes over the pond. Looks like it's sagged. And that's a lot of hail in there. Looks like rock salt. Oh, you two. You two are funny. Yeah, you. You and Mr. Parmesan. Oh, those are eggs. Those are not for you. Hi. So I was leaving to go to the store and little kitty ran inside the porch because it was starting to rain. And so I let you, didn't I? I let you. <laughs> and I come in and him and Mr. Parmesan are right next to each other. You guys are so funny. I know. I know. You're so funny. Oh, boy. All right, Mr. Parmesan. I will get him out of your way. Okay? No, those are not yours. Those are not yours. These are mine. I collected them, and then I left them in here. All right, Mommy. Honey. Not under it, sweetie. There you go. There you go, right in the middle like you like it. So, 
Today is the third. And so today's 26. Where are you going? <clears throat> so I expect she'll have babies later this week. And I expect between now and then you will eat lots of the hay. Oh, babe. Yeah. Good girl. Hi, Ricky Tony. Hi. Yes. And I did just check on your babies and they did well. well let's show the camera. So, they are all in this corner here. Look at the babies. They're all doing so well. They're all very, very warm. Cara Cara Orange, not quite the right color and not as sweet as most years. Made a quiche with some freeze-dried tomato. I think I'm gonna let it sit a little bit before I cook it next time. Let it rehydrate just a little bit more. The water is really rushing. It's lower than it was yesterday by a couple feet. But over there, I thought that was coming down the river. It is a stuck tree. It's a full-on tree in the middle of the river or creek and it's coming this way but there's already stuff stuck in front and uh you gotta get clogged up again and they'll have to clear it out again <laughs> it is going quite quite swift swift quite swiftly here's the other side so a couple of feet lower than yesterday, it's still pretty high. <clears throat> and here's the place that usually doesn't have any water, this is just storm water here. Well, I thought you were going to do something interesting. <clears throat> we just cut his nails when he was taking a bath. So we'll be vacuuming up his toenails, <laughs> trimmed in the side. Better than in this green and porch, because right now it's raining and making loud noises. Huh, oh, babe? What? What is this face you're giving me? <laughs> he really wants to know what's underneath that door. Hi, sweetie. Here, you want a carrot? No, you just want to say hi. Hi, babe. <laughs> what? You just wanted to say hi? Oh, I did have a carrot. Did you want the carrot? Hey, did you want the carrot? You just want to mark it? There you go. I thought maybe you would want a carrot. Good boy. There you go. Hi. 
<laughs> you look close, dude. <clears throat> no, you can't have those. You can't have those. So we just use cat clippers and it came with this file. So that's what we use. Hey bud, I have another one for you. I have another one for you. No, you cannot have those. <laughs> it's okay to kick you in the feet. <laughs> yeah, this is a different one. There you go. You into these now that you know what it is, huh? Hold on. You get to thank my friend for them. She brought them for you. Yeah. He says thank you. Rainy day. Just another rainy day. The chayotes are doing well. Look at those. Look at these little tendrils. Doing so good. Here's the other one here. Not quite growing as much, but it's growing really good. Looks like it has another branch coming up too. Awesome. Oh, and the nasturtiums are fighting through, <laughs> fighting through the California poppies, which is okay. We'll take it. These ones are also doing all right. All right, let's see if I can film this. One, look at those clean babies. Two, oh my gosh, you're so chubby. You're so chubby. Three, you're so warm. Four, <laughs> five, oh baby. Six, you're another chubby one. Another chubby one. Seven. Awesome. There'll be a video later on. I don't know if you guys are upside down yet or not, but there'll be a video later on about why I redid all the uh, hay for them. All right. Here we go. One more. One more. Look at ya, baby. All right. Go babies. Go babies. Oh. Go babies. Here you go, mom. Go feed your babies. Oh, the kitty cat's on the roof. Kitty cat, I hear you. He lost his bell. I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to invite you, yes you, to a live chat. We do a live chat every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific time and you're invited. We talk about all things homestead related and all sorts of animals, all sorts of uh, plants and fruit trees. The fruit trees are starting to bloom. This is my tree collar behind me. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of fun things to talk about. Uh, we talk about food preservation as well, all sorts of stuff. So if you're interested in any of those topics, go ahead and join us. And that is 6 p.m. Pacific time every Monday. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. We'll see you later today.